Stronger leaders. Stand on it. That's the way we shake hands. We're old friends. Thank it's you. nice to have you back on the show. It's been it's so a, long, hasn't it? It's always a pleasure to be here. Think, mate. You're, as I say, the undisputed uh, you know, world champion uh, in uh, in your division. And look at these belts here, if you don't mind. Just wonderful belts that have been won by uh, this Australian champ. Now, the crowning elimination series, which is happening on uh, on Sunday at the Melbourne Entertainment Centre, what's that all about? It's, I know it's an eight-person Yeah, there's, about. A, there's eight of the best heavyweights in the country. It's an eliminator. So what basically happens is there's two groups of four in each group. And uh, you know, it's like a round robin. And uh, what happens in the end is the two winners of both groups end up in the final. So it's like, for me to win the event, I have to have three victories that, that evening. Mm, so, so it's right, going to be a heavy night. Absolutely, yeah. It's a tough concept to ask for. And um, you know, the, the main thing is to, to win your fight without getting too sort of banged up or bruised up because you're going to have about 45 minutes break and then come back in again. Right. Special training for this event? Well, there's special training for every event. Every you know, event's a very important event for me. Um, for me, it's important because I've worked very hard to get where I am, and you know the thought of losing it overnight to to a local guy is uh, something that I, I don't let it enter in my mind. I mean, I don't underestimate anybody. They're all potentially very dangerous fighters and good fighters, but you know I can't afford the luxury of a, a negative thought. Anyone particularly stand among well, these other seven? Uh, there's a sensitive sort of uh, topic there because um, one of the guys, uh, his name's Sam Greco, who I spent a lot of time with, and has three legs. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, Sam was a very good friend of mine. Well, you know, um, we had a fallout, but, and uh, you know, I loved him like a brother, and I shared my 12 years of knowledge with the yeah, guy. I read about this. Yeah. yeah. What happened? What went wrong? Uh, to cut a long story short, back um, earlier in the year, March 25th, I suffered a defeat in, in in the United States. So obviously, it was a long trip back home, and uh, spiritually, I was down. I had to do a bit of soul searching, and I'd expect, you know, my my sidekick, my my protege, my my man to sort of be there to pick me up spiritually, whereas, you know, his character proved to me that, you know, his motive was to get where I am, and that was, he seized that opportunity there and then. So it was very unfortunate, but, you know, I've got to put that behind me now, and I, I've got to treat him very seriously, and, you know, they're all potentially dangerous out there, in particular Sam. So, mm. so if you finish up fighting Sam, that will be uh, about the half, won't it? Well, I think that's the one that uh, people are uh, anticipating and, and hoping to sort of see at the end, but he's in Group B and I'm in Group A, so for that to actually happen, he has to have two victories and so yeah, do I. Yeah, yeah. It's just interesting, you know, that you should refer to him as your sidekick, which I... Well, that's <laughs> I what I might so. have to use on the night then. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Uh, how many various uh, punches are there with the, the foot? Well, it's just like, well, like boxing. I mean, we, we use our hands just like boxers, but of course we have four weapons. We can use our kicks and there's, you know, side kicks, round kicks. There's all different types of kicks that they call them. I mean, Sam's a big boy. He's, uh, he's a very intimidating uh, physical specimen. If you see him, he's uh, definitely got what it takes to be a great fighter. I think his uh, mistake is that he wanted to get to where I am too quick. He was yeah. a little impatient and that's where his downfall is going to be. But like I said, he's a big boy and, you know, I'm only human. Uh, I have a jaw so just like yourself and, you know, um, a lapse of concentration and one on the chin and it's all over. So you've got to yeah. be careful. Do you speak at all, do you and Sam? At the moment, no. I mean, look, you know, once this is all over and done with, you know, I'd like to think that we can uh, make up and everything. Um, you know, it's very sad, like I said, you know, for the, for the situation the way yeah. it is. Uh, out there, I think we'll drop the special guest. Uh, <laughs> I just, uh, yeah. Well, good luck for uh, for Sunday. I do uh, wish you well, Stan. It's great to see you again, yeah. and I hope that everything works out beautifully for you on it Sunday. Will. I mean, in my mind, you are the champ, and I hope it stays that yeah, way. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot, Stan. Thank you. All the best. Okay, this is GMA. It's lovely to have you company on this Wednesday morning, and it's always just say that, Sam, just for a second, if you don't mind. Uh, it's always, <laughs> it's always. <laughs> Great to have Sam the show. And it's also 